Yo, Mike Lindell, aka the My Pillow Guy, recently released his memoir. And we are absolutely not selecting it for our book club. No. This is the story of one man's incredible journey from crack addict to CEO. <laughs> The my pillow guy who was on crack. I know the first person to order this is Judge Mathis. Like, yeah, boy, it's gonna yeah. be some good times here. Oh, that's crack behavior. behavior. <laughs> Fam, that's some rough yeah, days. Yeah, he's looking rough. That's rough. That's like yo, like cold case mugshot. Like, yeah, <laughs> we finally found him after finding twenty bodies on the side of the highway. Mike Lendell, the inventor and CEO of My Pillow, is an American icon. Really? Having appeared on TV more than two million times. How much crack did he smoke? Come on, give us a real stats we want. <laughs> Come on, for real. Like, All right. After smoking over 10,000 crack rocks. Okay. <laughs> in, in one weekend, he went through 40 vials. I'm like, oh, wow. He's doing Whoa. Jordan numbers. In his new memoir, What Are the Odds? From Crack Addict to CEO. Learn how Mike's 14 near-death experiences. 14? He was on crack. <laughs> I mean, I get that, but wow. Like... <laughs> Yo, that's a crack at automobile accident right there if I've seen one. <laughs> Shit, you have a 14 near death experiences and you on crack? I know his guardian angel was like, I'm over this shit, bro. Yo, fam, like, let come me, on. Put me in charge of Chris Brown or some shit. This guy Yo, y'all yo, yo, paying me time and a half? This is the photo you use on Ashley Madison if you're trying to cheat on your wife. You're like, yeah, bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> hey, we haven't had sex in four years. What do you want? You know, like I'm just trying come to on, you know, break get my it. suck, bro. <laughs> with faith, all things are possible. You know what else all things are possible with? Crack. Crack. That's right. <laughs> Yo, crack will give you, make you beat the odds. Crack will make you beat the odds, beat the law, beat your meat, whatever you want. You beat your feet. Visit MyPillow.com to order your copy of What Are the Odds? It's killing me that they didn't buy CrackAddictToCEO.com. That was, it's right there. <laughs> it's right it's there. Right there. Imagine that as your email address, Mike at CrackAddictToCEO.com. People are going to know exactly what you're emailing them about. Yeah. To uh, remind you that he's was saved by God, he always wears that cross, and it's also on the side of the book. So he's like one of those. He's one of those God save me people that brings it up all the time. You'd be like, you know, what? I'm gonna get some croutons in my salad. You're like, you know what? You know who invented the original crouton? Jesus. Jesus Christ. Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Uh, you love all right, here we here we go, Mike. <laughs> here we go, Mike. <laughs> People are praising Mike's new book with five-star reviews. Wow, Dave Matthews read this? Mike keeps you wow. on the edge of your seat. Wow. Okay. Crack into me. Loved it. Highly recommended. Patty Hearst. Wow. Everybody is Oh, just, shit. Every, it changed everyone's life. Okay. One of the best books I have ever read. I thought that was Lemon Roll Miranda for a second. I was like, I hope you don't read that shit, bro. Please don't make it into a musical. I would love to see him turn this, turn this into a musical. We're cracking and rapping. Rapping and cracking. Cracking and rapping. Cracking and rapping. The crack. The crack. It's just Hamilton or crack? I mean, <laughs> it's the hottest ticket on Broadway, Crackleton. Like, you want you know it. Saying? People are like, it's Hamilton meets The Wire. It's my two you know loves. It's beautiful. Enter the promo code on your screen. They definitely are like, yo, we we got to make sure it's a promo code easy enough for crackheads to remember. So that's why they didn't make it complicated. So, yo, F1. <laughs> F1. They should have made it crack. <laughs> F1, that's the apartment I cop from. So uh, this is very oh, great, right. you know? He's friends with Trump also. Yes, he brought him out at that, that press conference the other day. Yeah, the rest of us were like, oh, God, we need information about coronavirus. He was like, who wants some pillows? Huh? <laughs> who wants some pillows? Let's talk about my pillow guy and Jesus. Do you think Trump sleeps with my pillow? Eh, yeah. He yeah. might yeah. f*** on my pillow, actually. Oh, God. Yeah. Uh, yeah, <laughs> he made... He meet a little Susie in it. Yeah. 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 yeah vibes. You know Trump when he gets in the mood. <laughs> Trump grabs a pillow, throws it on the bed. He pushes all his fillet, empty fillet of fish boxes on the yeah. floor. He goes to town. You know what I'm saying? He just throws Matt Adderall all, all over the pillow. He's like, you're uh, my pillow. My pillow. Yeah. He should come out with MAGA pillows. Don't get mad at there because he'll do it and make a gazillion dollars. And he'll be like, Jesus came to me with an idea. And I'll be like, wasn't Jesus, it was Jesus. What are you stealing? <laughs> 